Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. Yeah, so today I wanted to talk about setting up your year to go exponential. As, as humans, we seem to think very linear, except linear isn't really uh, the, the way the universe works or really the way the world works. Uh, in fact, everything's exponential and getting your heads around exponentiality and how big results are actually created from very, very small actions it is really important to understand. So I want to introduce you to a few principles that for some of you, they will be revision principles. And for some of you, they will be uh, new principles. But I think that they're going to be very important for this year. My vision and goal for this year is to go exponential. Exponential meaning an asymmetry. It, it's got for the same certain inputs create uh, a, such a such a bigger result. It's not linear. One plus one equals 11 in the world of uh, magic, not one plus one equaling two. So we, we must understand some very key principles. Can I just ask, who would like to really create sort of magic out of this world, out of their current paradigm results this year? Because uh, if if the answer is yes, what's happening to my camera? My camera's a little bit on, on vacation still. There we go. That's a bit better. Is is to understand if you want to create exponential or magic results, then, then these three principles that I want to go through today are going to be very, 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 very important because many of us don't realize how to do it. And there is a structure, obviously, to it. So the first rule or principle that I'd like to introduce is the 80-20 rule. Uh, who's, who's never heard of the 80-20 rule before? The 80-20 rule asserts that a, a small amount of causes or efforts lead to a majority of the results. And it was actually uh, a principle that was first, uh, I guess, observed by an uh, economist, an Italian economist, I believe, uh, by the name of Pareto. And what, what he observed is that 20% of the pea pods in his garden produce 80% of the peas. And then he started to look around and realize that 80% of the land was, a, was owned by 20% of the population. And, and this kind of carries on. Now, it's not exactly 80-20, okay? It might be 90-15 or 95-10. But, but, but here's the, the point, is that there are certain activities that lead to most of the results. So here's a list of examples, okay? And I'll use the 80-20 as a metaphor for it. So 80% of a company's output is produced by 20% of its workers. 80% of wealth is held by 20% of the population. You wear 80% uh, of your clothes 20% of the time and 20% of the clothes 80% of the time. You eat 20% uh, of the, the food uh, or food 80% of the time and then the other 80%, 20%. So you see what I'm saying? It's very interesting to think about this. Uh, here's some other ones. 80% of social media shares, 20% of posts. 80% of software glitches, 20% of the bugs. And this continues and continues and continues. 80% of the revenue in a company is 20% of clients. Now, why is this important to you? Well, it's very, very, very important to realize that the 80-20 rule works in an idea that you can actually break the 80-20 into another 80-20, okay? So what's interesting about that is if you think 20% creates 80%, well, if you do it again, 20% of 20% is 4%, actually creating 64% of the results. Now, if math confuses you, here is the most important thing to understand. Certain things matter way more than other things. Does that make sense, everyone? Certain things there are certain actions that you take count for a heck of a lot more. Let me put that in perspective. Let's say that you wanted to generate wealth and in the early 2000s, you wanted to generate wealth and you were uh, in Silicon Valley. The most important thing was the company that you chose. Think about that. Out of everything that you could do, you could get smarter, you could network, you could do all of these things. But even if you were at the lowest level job at some of the big giants like Facebook or uh, Amazon, 
you would be infinitely more wealthy than anything else you could do. Who gets that? Isn't that interesting? Think about it. Like it's 2001, you're in Silicon Valley, you're, you know, you're a coder, you're into tech and you, you're, you're thinking about all these things and you want to make money. The, the most important thing would have been the company that you chose. If you chose a MySpace, you see, or if, if you chose to go and, uh, you know, be the, the, the software engineer for Blockbuster versus just choosing to, to work at Netflix and getting shares, everything would have been different. Does that make sense? So it's very, very, very important to realize that that might have been just one decision. Imagine being someone's in there going, which one is it? You see, it's very small. Some things just matter so much more than others. And, and that's, that is crucial. Like if you want to consider this in, a, you know, in, in nearly every single thing in your life, there's something that matters the most. And there's a key insight this year. If you want to go exponential, Instead of trying to do everything, I want you to find the things, the, the things that fit in that 4%, the things that fit in what matters most, that makes the biggest difference. Because if you can actually put your time into those things, you're going to get far greater results. For example, if you're going to the gym, the most important thing you can do is put, and you want to lose weight, for example, the most important thing you can do is put muscle on your body. There's a, most, there's a most important thing because then you're going to burn more calories at the same amount of activity. That's simply the most important thing. And it's like, there's simple things like that. Now, does everyone get that so far? Really quick. It's a simple concept. In any outcome you have this year, certain things matter most, whether it's in your relationships, with your spouse, with your kids, with, with, uh, with your friends, in your business, in your happiness. Think about that. In creating a happy life, certain things matter more than others. Make sense? So, and, and by the way, exponentially more. Now consider this. Here's, a, here's something I meditated and I realized about four days ago. The 80-20 rule as a concept, the 80-20 rule as a concept works for success. Would you all agree it probably works in creating failure as well? Meaning there are certain things that if you do them exponentially uh, create more failure. Now, that's a concept. I haven't seen that written anywhere. That came to me while I was meditating. I haven't, I haven't seen that anywhere. But it must be true, hey? It must be true. So it's not just important to realize, well, if I do this, this matters most. There's this. That if I do that, that is the one thing that will cause exponentially more failure than anything else. That's something to consider too. And if you can understand this, I think mastery in any certain endeavor is about knowing what things fit in what matters most, what things fit in that 4% or in that, in that bucket. So that's the first principle. So this year, can you ask yourself, what is the biggest, let's use the word needle movers. What are the biggest needle movers? How do I apply most of my time to that? Because if you can just spend twice as much time on the things that really make a difference, you don't need to worry about the rest of it. True? So that's the first principle. And, and I really wanted to make sure that everyone uh, hears that and understands that. The next principle is the Matthew effect. The Matthew effect. Has anyone heard of the uh, Has anyone heard of the Matthew effect before? Might be the first time you've heard of the Matthew effect. Okay, so this is sometimes summarized by the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and it talks about how distribution ends up unequal. And uh, it's actually a function. It's actually something that will keep happening. In fact, you see this everywhere. You know. There, there's certain, uh, in, in, you know, in animal species, there's certain uh, members of the, uh, of the clan or of the tribe or of the pride that gets exponentially more than everything else. You see it everywhere. And, and it works like this. If you have a bit of money and then a good opportunity comes along, then you're able to invest and make more money. So then you get more money. And then if there's another thing, you can put it in, you can get more. So you end up getting more. You see what I'm saying? So, so more attracts, more attracts, more. It works with confidence as well. 
If you're confident, you do confident things, you end up becoming more confident and get more confident. Do you see that? It, it attracts itself. And it looks like this law of attraction, but it's actually a principle. It's called the, the, the Matthew effect uh, because of the gospel of Matthew. And, and it's, uh, it's a very, very interesting effect. And, and it's how unequal distributions happen. And, and here's, here's, what you, here's what I want you to take away from it. As soon as you get something, as soon as you get some aspect of something, you're, you're exponentially more likely to get more of it. See? And think about this, right? So, so in, in business, if you grow your business to a certain size, and then so say Facebook, and, and Facebook sees WhatsApp or Instagram coming up, they just buy it. See, so success attracts more success. Do you see that? As soon as you start putting on some muscle, you're able to work out harder, which means you can put on more muscle, which means you can work out even more harder. You put on more muscle. You see what I'm saying? And it's exponential. Who's, who's noticed this in health? As, you, as soon as you're able to run a little bit, you're able to go a mile. Then now because you can go a mile, you can go further and then go further. You end up exponentially uh, more fit than, than others. So, so that's very interesting. So, so it's called the Matthew effect. And, and your goal is to get in the game with something because the more get more, the more get more, get more. And this is why the unequal distributions happen. So for example, in my industry, probably the biggest name is Anthony Robbins. And I think he's actually been, been, uh, been doing this for, for like 45 something years. And so it is, he's got so much more scope, so much more content, so much more brand recognition. So he's able to get more because he's got more. He's got more things out there, more people talking about him, you see. And I've noticed it in my business is as I started to get more recognition and more of you talking about me, the, the gains get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Does that make sense, everybody? So the Matthew effect states this is that the rich get richer. The more that you have, the more that you're able to attract more of it. However, this happens with everything, with skills, with, uh, you know, you, you see it in the animal kingdom. Uh, the alpha male, it has, you know, has a has a, uh, a tribe or a harem. They have that. They're able to get more. They get more land. They get more resources. And then what happens is they're healthier. So their offspring end up getting even healthier, they get even more. So the family gets more and more and more. And so unequal distribution is a function of this. It just, it simply happens um, everywhere. Now, would you also agree that this works in the opposite? It works in the opposite. So it's exponential in the opposite, because as soon as you have little, then you don't have something to invest, something to go, then you get little, then you can't invest, others move up and you go down. You see that? You feel unconfident, so you take unconfident actions, which leads you to be even more unconfident. Can everyone see that it, it, it works both ways? So I want you to get this with the Matthew principle. You're either getting more and getting more and growing bigger and attracting more of it, or you're moving the other way. Does that make sense? If you want to go exponential, you must be moving forwards. It's, it's either growth or decay to an exponential amount. And then you see the distribution looks like the 80-20. It looks like the 80-20. So has everyone got the first two principles? The first one, 80-20, that some actions just account for way, way, way more than, than others. Okay. And the, the second is that it is very important to start getting some sort of success. Because as soon as you start getting some sort of success, some sort of results, you will infinitely attract uh, more of it. Very good. You'll infinitely attract more of it because you just have more. What I found is it's it's so humbling and amazing that, and I'll use business as an example, as soon as I was able to get a certain amount of money, then I was able to hire amazing people who allowed the business to get even bigger, which allowed me to hire even greater people. And now we have 58 staff. You see, and now with 58 staff, we're able to then go and do even more, which gets it. You see what I'm saying? So it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So very, 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 very relevant. So, so make sure that you do start getting small success straight away. Start getting that straight away because you'll attract even more of it and have the ability 
uh, to do it, okay? It's not this one leap. And the last thing, the last of the three principles that I want to talk about today is a, a universal intelligence or a universal principle that you, you pretty much see everywhere. And I'm grabbing this from uh, session eight of the Superconscious Creator course, which is the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence. And this is a, a very, very interesting uh, sequence. So I'm just going to share my screen and, uh, and talk to you about this because this is seen everywhere. So it's very, very, very famous. Okay. It's very famous. And you see this sequence or this golden ratio, you see it absolutely everywhere in nature. Okay, you first see it in the number of flower petals and how they grow, also in seed heads. And it is absolutely amazing to witness how this goes. And, and we will talk about the numbers in just a second. Each, each number is a sum of the two numbers that precede it. So you see one, then it goes to one, then you see it goes to two, then three, then five, then eight. And this number is some sort of universal code of growth. Can someone write this down? It is literally a universal code of growth. So you'll see it here in tree branches. There's one, then there'll be two, then one and two equals three, then three and two equals five, then five and three equals eight. It is a universal code of growth. You'll see it in every single shell. If you square this and if you zoom in, these, the, uh, the, the, uh, the area in each one of these squares so that little one there that my cursor is on, then the next one, then this one is uh, the, the sum of the one before, then this one, then this one, then this square, then this square. Well, they're not squares, sorry. This, this area, then, then this area as well. And so you see this. It is a universal indicator of how things on this planet grow. Our faces, human, non-human, have examples of this golden ratio okay even in reproductive dynamics okay it's literally everywhere there's 1.618 ratio it's so amazing to see it everywhere and uh and these sort of things just um blow me away it's down in dna and it's also animal um flight patterns and you can see all sorts of how these things uh, come out this is all mathematical so you see it in our lungs a brain cell um, this red one here is actually blood veins. That's lightning. Uh, that's this universe, and you see it in a leaf. Okay. So what I want you to take from so this is the third uh, third principle is a Fibonacci sequence. Now I was just showing you uh, a worksheet there, um, just because it's part of um, one of our trainings in superconscious creators. So you don't you don't need the workshop. But here's what I want you to understand is the Fibonacci sequence creates such, such exponentiality at the end that at the beginning, you can't even imagine it, okay? So, so just, just think about this. It goes one, then it adds the one before. So it goes one again, so one plus zero. Then it goes two, okay? Then it goes two plus one, three, okay? So, so then it goes, and it goes five, and then it goes eight, and then it goes 13, and then it goes 21. So you can see that it just starts going like that. And these are the same units of time. So what I want you to get from this is that you can take small actions now. And in the short term, it looks like you just went one, one, three, five. But if you keep going, soon it starts to look like to go from 13 to 21, and then 21, 34, then 34, 55, right? And then at 55, and then it goes up to 89. And it just starts going. So why is this important to you? Why is this important to you? It is so important for one reason, is if you combine these three concepts, you will have the most powerful understanding of how to go exponential. So first, if you can figure out, use your intuition, use your skills to find out what fits in that 20%, what is that activity? So first you can do that. Second, if you understand the Matthew effect and know that as soon as you get some, 
you're going to get more and then you're going to get more. As soon as you get one client, you're likely to get two. And then it will. Then the third principle that we talked about today is the Fibonacci sequence, which is the universal code for all growth that says it starts out and then starts growing at this 1.618 golden ratio. Think about that. Think about that. It is so crucial to put these three things together. Hmm. Cheers, anyway. Got myself a beautiful green drink. What do you guys all think of that? Let me know in the chat box, eh? Hey? Very interesting. Very interesting, isn't it? So if you if you look at anything that you want to create, it is liberating, isn't it? Yep. I don't I haven't heard anyone else put all three together in one, um, Leonardo. If you put these three principles together, the first thing you're going to realize, not every action matters the same. I have it written up there on my wall is success isn't about doing everything right. It's about doing the right thing. Because the first principle is, is to truly understand not every action matters the same. And if you can find someone who's mastered, absolutely freaking mastered something, they can let you know what the most important thing is. Then second, if you can find what's the most important thing, then the second thing that you can understand, by the way, it might be two important things, okay? The second thing that you can understand is going, hmm, okay, I just have to start getting some success because I know the Matthew effects is as soon as I start getting some success. And so I always, whenever I'm coaching people in their business or in, in their weight loss or in their relationship or something, just start getting some of it, you know, just start getting some. So maybe you want to be married to the right person or just start dating someone, start something, start going to the gym, start something, because that is going to start attracting more of it. Just make your first sale. Who cares if your first sale is at 10% of what you want to sell it for eventually. Just start. The Matthew effect says that if you start, you'll get more of it. Just start. Just move. Just be out there, right? Right, Gully says, just start dating someone. Just start doing something. Go on some dates. Get out there. Be in it. Start something. Start something. And then the third thing talks about exponentiality and the Fibonacci sequence. So, so here's some interesting uh, trivia before we go into recode into my next points. In the book, The One Thing, okay? In the book, The One Thing, they talk about this effect that they, they coined the domino effect, okay? If you take a domino, it's about two inches tall, okay? And it weighs about, a, uh, about as much as a small box of matches, okay? So it's not very heavy. However, if you put another domino that's just 50% bigger than it, it will knock over that next domino, okay? So everyone's got it. So a small domino, then you create one that's just a little bit bigger, 50% larger, it will knock it down. Now, if you line up dominoes with every single one, 50% bigger than the one before, okay? You and, you and you push them. You will set off a chain reaction that the 57th domino or the 56th domino would be big enough to have enough force to knock over a domino that would stretch from the earth to the moon. Now, that's, there's, if that's mind-blowing to me, a little domino, then there's just 57, and that one would, would reach to the moon, and it would have enough force to actually knock it over, just 57. That's exponentiality. Yeah, and Deb's just typed the book in there. That's Gary Keller. Uh, very, isn't that interesting? 
But that is, and that's exponentiality. Our brains absolutely suck at understanding the, the exponential nature of things. The Fibonacci sequence doesn't even make sense to us. You know, uh, I've, I've seen, um, you know, memes out there that said Einstein said that the eighth wonder of the world was compounding interest. I don't know whether he said that or not, but what's interesting is, is the, the compound effect of small actions is, is just crazy. And really, when you really get it, that these small things, it just looks like you're going nowhere. And then all of a sudden, it looks like you're getting somewhere. And then all of a sudden, really quick, you get everything. And most people give up here. Does that make sense? I'll give you an example. I started my coaching business 2011 and it went like this and it started to get better and even had some dips and I kept on going and kept and these things. I started other businesses and stopped and, and then in 2017, it started to move 18, 19. And then last year, I made more money and impacted more people than all 10 years combined. blows me away, blows me away because of exponentiality. Does that make sense? Combined, not just more than the year before, combined. And it just takes off. So I really, really hope that you get that. You might not see it for a while, but that's the universe setting it up because you're going to move and it's going to take off. Isn't that exciting to think? Those who can stay focused on a big end result can take the correct actions, can start getting small successes and can trust the exponentiality of the universe can create big results. Those who just want it to be one plus one plus one plus one plus one always give up really early. Does that make sense? They always give up early. They don't realize that those who stay focused is how it is. So, what is it that you need to be able to do? You need to be able to speed this up. You need to be able to speed this up. So how do you speed this up? You speed this up by understanding that if you can take more of the correct actions, you're going to knock over more of the dominoes. See, what, what if out of 100% of your activity and you really applied the 80-20, and so instead of spending a week doing 100 things, you narrowed it down to the four things that really matter. And you just did those 25 times. In the same time period, you would have got... So here's what you must get. And it's we're coming right back to the beginning. If you want to go exponential, it's about taking the right action. It's about getting little results fast and trusting in the exponential nature of it. Now, the kicker is this. It works both ways. If you take that, that action that sits in the 4% of what creates failure, you'll exponentially create failure even fast. And typically, what's in that 4% is procrastination, putting it off, not doing the thing that really, really, really matters. So what I want to share with you and what we're going to go into Recode with today is realizing the most important thing is having no resistance to the correct action and taking it. Having no resistance to the correct action and taking it. Tuning into your big end result, intuitively taking the right action, no matter how difficult or hard it is taking it, starting to get some success, taking the action, starting, taking, starting, taking, starting, and going for it. That's how you can condense 10 years into one year. See, if I look back at that 10-year uh, gap, it wasn't until I started getting the right things and taking the right things. And by the way, that is why having a great coach is absolutely crucial. If you have a great coach, they're going to help you stick to the right things and take that correct action. And, and you've got tons of certified coaches. Uh, Rochelle has space. 
Julie has space. If you want that, take it. But also know that you get to be your own coach in this program. Hear these things and ask yourself, what is the absolute correct action? Take that correct action and watch your results be exponential. So let's have an absolutely freaking amazing year. Who's excited to think about their, their year in, in a way where you go, well, it's not about doing everything. It's about doing the right thing. So I hope that that was valuable concepts. Because if you apply those three concepts, gosh, your year's going to be amazing. Your year's going to be amazing.